In this video for grade 9 geometry of 2D shapes, we're going to have a look at the properties of quadrilaterals. Before we revise the properties you did in grade 8, I'm going to remind you about certain terms. A quadrilateral has four angles and four sides. And when we compare angles or sides, we can firstly compare the opposite sides. And in this case, we have one pair of opposite sides. Or we can compare adjacent sides. We can also have a look at opposite angles. When we compare sides, we can focus on the lengths of the sides. And if sides are equal in length, it is indicated with a line on that specific side. Sides that are parallel to each other can be indicated with an arrow on these lines. In grade 9, we now also focus on the diagonals. A diagonal is drawn from one angle to the opposite angle. So, in a quadrilateral, we can draw two diagonals. We will be focusing on the lengths of these diagonals and also on their point of intersection and how that point divides these lines. The first two quadrilaterals that you had a look at in grade 8 was the trapezium and the kite. A trapezium has only one property, and that is that it has one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. A kite has no parallel lines, but it has two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal in length, as well as one pair of opposite angles equal in size. If we now add the two diagonals, we have a few extra properties. The first of these will be that the two diagonals always intersect at 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. The four angles at point E are all 90 degrees. We can also compare the lengths of the diagonals. In the case of a kite, diagonal AC is shorter than diagonal DB. Where the two diagonals intersect at point E, it also divides these diagonals up in parts. Diagonal DB divides diagonal AC into two equal parts. This means that line segment AE is equal to EC. So another property of a kite is that the one diagonal is bisected or divided in half by the other. DB is not bisected because DE is shorter than EB. The third property a kite has in terms of diagonals is that the one diagonal bisects the angles. When we draw diagonal DB, it halves or bisects angle D as well as angle B. So the two angles formed at D are equal in size, and the same goes for the two angles at B. These two angles are also equal in size. Diagonal AC, however, does not bisect the angles. The top angle at A is in our case smaller than the bottom angle at A. Next, we move to our parallelograms. The basic parallelogram has two pairs of opposite sides that are equal in length, and these same pairs are also parallel. And in grade 8 you also learned that the two pairs of opposite angles are equal. Next up we have a rectangle, and this is also a type of parallelogram, but it now has an extra property, and that is that all four of the angles are 90 degrees. Similarly, a rhombus is also a parallelogram, once again with an extra property, and in this case that is that the adjacent sides are now also equal in length, making all four sides equal. And finally we have the square, which is a combination of all the previous. So it is a parallelogram with the rectangle property of 90 degree angles, as well as the rhombus property of all sides being equal in length. Now let's go and add the properties of the diagonals. The two diagonals of a parallelogram are not equal in length, 
but they do bisect each other, meaning they divide each other in two equal parts. The diagonals of a parallelogram do not intersect perpendicularly, meaning the angles formed at the intersection are not 90 degrees. If we now move to our rectangle, it is still a parallelogram and therefore the property that the diagonals bisect each other is still true. But once again, there's an extra property making this a rectangle, and that is that the two diagonals are equal in length. So, AC is the same length as BD. Looking at the rhombus, once again that new property is still true that the diagonals bisect each other. But once again there's an extra property making this a rhombus and that is that the diagonals bisect perpendicularly. So all those angles in the middle are 90 degrees. And similar to the kite where one diagonal bisects the angles, here both diagonals bisect the angles and that means that the angles at D and B are all the same size and the same goes for the two angles at A and the two angles at C. And once again when we get to the square all the previous properties are true. So firstly the diagonals bisect each other to form a parallelogram. The diagonals are also equal in length. And just like the rhombus, the diagonals intersect at 90 degrees. Then the diagonals also bisect the angles. And for the square, that means we can go one step further and say that all the smaller angles are 45 degrees. Because all the 90 degree angles are bisected. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how we can use these properties to determine unknown angle sizes and side lengths.